Today is actually me and Dan's one year wedding anniversary, which is kind of weird to think about. But obviously last year we didn't do like a whole big thing. He had literally just moved here and we were kind of on a time crunch to get paperwork filed for the visa and stuff. There was a travel ban, so his parents couldn't come from the UK. So we just like went to the courthouse, signed some papers, and then went back and had pizza at my parents' house. It was actually a really nice day, but it wasn't like big or fancy or anything like that. I'd still like to have like a wedding wedding at some point in the next couple of years, but let's be honest, that's just, that's just not on the cards right now. Like I just bought a house, we gotta take this one step at a time. Okay, but I'm still feeling a little bit inspired and I kind of want to build a wedding venue in The Sims. I was thinking about building some sort of like countryside, sort of farm-like wedding setup. To be honest, this is not something I would ever want in real life. This is just not my vibes. Like I'm planning on putting hay bales as the seating for this and I, I just don't want that in real life. I'm sorry, but it, it's not the vibe. However, in The Sims, I think it'll be cute. So I was sort of picturing having like a small-ish barn over here on this side of the lot and then we'd have like the reception area, like the tables and things inside of it. And then outside, I want to have like some crops. I honestly might even put like a cow or something and then like a wedding arch and chairs and things. I've seen a lot of pictures of barns that kind of look like this, like they've sort of got wings. I have been looking at pictures before I started building this because I was trying to get some inspiration. I don't really know how wide it should be. Okay, well, I guess we're going to need to have bathrooms or at least one bathroom. And then we'll want to have like some proper tables, maybe a dance floor, a bar. <laughs> oh. <laughs> This is a little bit small, isn't it? Okay, my cat was in here and she just left. We've been abandoned. She was helping though. She's been laying on my keyboard for hours this morning. Apparently the hay bales have scared her away too and I won't blame her. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's think about this. So I might actually put the bathrooms on this side because then we can have windows that have like a view of the, <laughs> of the farm. And I might even just have one bathroom over here. Like maybe there'll be an archway into it and then there'll just be a door or something. I don't know, something like that. We do have like a sort of cottagey, cottage living bar that we could use, which might be kind of fun because it's got like a chicken on it. So that might be a nice touch. <laughs> so we can have the bar over here. I want to have a banquet table because then you can put like the food on it and stuff for the wedding. This is the problem, right? Because in real life, you might have like a table for the couple right at the front and then like a bunch of guest tables kind of spread out. But in The Sims, you don't really need that many tables because The Sims don't usually sit at them or anything. But then I also want to have like a dance floor and I want to have some music. And all of a sudden this room is very small. Oh, look at the pretty light purple. Oh, this room is very small. <laughs> this is not good. You know what? I'm just gonna not think about that for a sec and I'm gonna work on the exterior because this part is easier for me. <laughs> and maybe once we've figured out the exterior, it'll come together better. The problem that I have every time building venues in The Sims is that I always want them to be like more realistic looking. It's just more fun that way. But like for gameplay, it's probably better if it's a little bit smaller and less realistic because your couple isn't gonna sit at the head table. They just won't. In fact, you'd be lucky if anybody sat at any table. And like, like these tables are gonna seat six sims. Do I need more than 12 chairs inside? Probably not. No one's gonna actually use them anyway, so it doesn't matter. All right, well, here's what I was thinking for the shape of the barn. This is a picture that I saw online. I just Googled like farm wedding venue and this one came up, but I kind of liked how this barn was like all white. So I think I might try and do something similar to that for our little barn. I'm also only using the base game cottage living and the wedding pack for this. So I'm not really sure about like the window and door situation. We do have some pretty doors but they're not really like barn doors, if that makes sense. I don't know. That's that's very much like a church. <laughs> I wonder if I made this taller and then tried to sneak in this one. Because this actually is going to... Okay. <laughs> Wait, bb.moveobjects on. Okay, that's gonna clip. But it all just depends whether or not we care, right? Because, oh, that's an annoying kind of clipping. Because you can see that... Oh, it's still gonna work. Like these doors, they do work when you put them on bigger walls like this. It just depends if we care or not. And I, I'm not sure if... If I care. I need to think about it more. Oh, and then in a similar sense, should I use like these with the shutters or is it odd to have shutters on a barn? I won't lie, I don't spend a lot of time in barns or at wedding venues, <laughs> so I'm not really sure. You know, I don't care if that's off center on this side to be honest, because then it kind of looks better from the inside and then we can have like a fancy spot for this banquet table and then this bathroom door can kind of be like out of the way, hidden a little, because it doesn't need to be like a fancy bathroom, it just needs to have a toilet and a sink. You know, I I feel like that looks really pretty from the inside. I'm just
just not sure about this door from the outside. <laughs> That's like story of our life though, isn't it? I'm, I'm never sure about what I want to do with the exterior of these things. I think this one looks really small and kind of sad, but I don't really know what the alternative would be. Aside from like if we just opened it up, but then the lighting gets ugly and that's kind of the main problem that I have with it because I like how this looks from the exterior. I don't like how it looks from the interior. The lighting is just weird in there and then you can't get good screenshots. No, we should not prioritize the exterior over the interior. The entire point of this is to have a functional wedding venue. Speaking of which, I don't like any of this. <laughs> this is not what I wanted to look like. Oh, this little blueberry wreath is cute. It's kind of like the picture with the blueberry fields, <laughs> except it's a little wreath in The Sims with absolutely massive berries because I sized it up. I'm just gonna put a bunch of little things that I wanna use outside around the place. Oh my God, a fireplace would have been beautiful. Oh, we probably shouldn't do that. I kind of want it to be like sort of cozy and like fairy lit inside of this place because look, these are beautiful. These lanterns are like the vibe completely. I just need to figure out how many of them I should put and like where I should put them. But I feel like if we had a bunch of those on the walls, it would be really nice. It'd also be nice if we had a door, but that's a problem for future Simsy. I need to figure out how far me I'm trying to go with this because <laughs> I feel like I'm, I've got this very beautiful like white vision in my head, but then I also want to use this like more rustic looking stuff, which makes this not match. Oh, we could use these little benches. That would be cute. And we could always have like a, f oh no. <laughs> I was going to say we could have a fake dance floor, but I don't think I like how the rug looks. So maybe not. Okay. New question. Can I get away with using these adorable little chairs or is that not the vibe? What is the vibe? I don't think it's gonna work. <laughs> I don't think those are the vibe. We could probably use the wedding chairs though with the flowers. Um, except all of the flowers don't match the purple. So do we want to go pink or blue? I think I like the blue better because we have the blueberries. So maybe the colors of the wedding are like purple and blue. <laughs> do I want to use all six chairs? I always feel like the six chairs look like a lot. Like when I try and place them, it seems like it's really busy when there's all six chairs on something. Oh, I can't even put the pretty piano. There's no space for anything in this stupid build. Why did I do this? I could probably use it in the corner. Okay, thoughts on these lanterns as the centerpiece. I really, really need to be stopped because right now I want to use this table in the back just as like an extra table. And that's probably a bad idea, but I, I don't know. I just, I want like something back there <laughs> and I want to put like this on it. We could probably get some flowers on it. And then it also makes everything kind of cut into the bar. Oh, this is so much harder than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Do you think this is too big? <laughs> is that too much? I think it might be too much. It might be too much even for us. Okay, so I was thinking about painting the barn to be this like sort of white paneling and then maybe I could put some columns around the edges. I feel like the roof probably needs to change too because I don't really like the color of it. Maybe like the more rustic looking one with the shingles. Okay, the archway doesn't ruin the lighting completely, which is maybe a good idea. I just, I don't know. I still feel like the scale is off, but then like, what are you going to do? Put like three of them? That that's ugly. It doesn't look good. What I want is like a big rectangle. Can I just try for a second what it would look like if we did it like this? Because I know it looks horrible on the inside, but to me, this is probably the best that I can do on the exterior because nothing else is this size. Like nothing else fits that way. It's so annoying. I don't know what else to do, but it totally ruins the vibes of the interior. Like it's so dark in there now. When it's nighttime, it's okay. Cause at night it actually looks bad. Why does it look bad at night? I need to bring a sim here. No, it looks so bad. I know that it's only eight in the morning, but it actually looks so bad in here. I just can't. I can't. And I don't have, oh, and I don't have UI cheats installed, so I can't cheat the time. Oh my God. Today, today my patience is being so tested. I won't lie to you. I did have to stop recording for a second in the middle of this video to go cry. Not about the build. I'm just very overwhelmed. We're moving soon. There's a lot going on, but, but like, come on. <laughs> Why is The Sims doing this to me? No, it's horrible. It's actually so ugly. Forget it. I'm just gonna landscape it like it's not happening. It's my wedding anniversary. I'll do what I want. I don't care if it looks good or not. I'll just do what I want. Okay, but we actually need to get a few trees kind of around the place to fill it in a little. And then I was thinking about putting a barn. I know that might be silly, but like genuinely my original goal was let's have a cow. <laughs> that was the, the whole vision initially for this build. And so I, I don't know. If I'm gonna have like a real barn, maybe I shouldn't have the cow barn.
barn. That was what I wanted. Maybe we could just like put some cows. Oh, no, I can't just put some cows. Cool. Um, yeah, just I'm gonna put some fences now because <laughs> I know I can put fences. I think that I'd like to have maybe like some farm behind the wedding arch. Like kind of the thought in my head is that maybe we could have like, all right, that's probably a bit too close, but maybe we could have like some seating kind of leading up to the wedding arch. And then behind it, I wanted to have some crops, like maybe something like that, because I did want this to be very farm-like. Like I kind of wanted it to feel like you were visiting a farm when you came to get married here. Although now I'm kind of thinking that maybe I should have a fence around the crops. So let me rethink this a little. Like is that nice or is it extremely ugly? This is this is the kind of thing that I'm not sure about. <laughs> this is what I need help with because I don't know the answer. Maybe we get a different tree and then we could have like a more proper entrance into this. And look, we could stack up like some hay bales and stuff over here. Like I'll literally, I'll stack them, watch. See, we'll get some hay bales in the corner. We'll fill this with crops. My cat is back by the way, and she is like fascinated by this. She's totally staring at the screen as I move it. <laughs> I feel like what I'm looking at is like two completely different ideas. Like this is very like, ooh, white, pretty, updated, modern farmhouse. And then we've got like this more rustic stuff over here. And so I'm kind of struggling to meld the two. Ooh, a tractor. We could put that in the front. That could be fun to like take photos with. You know what I mean? It, it feels kind of gimmicky, but it, it feels right <laughs> for the wedding. I have no idea what I'm doing. Absolutely not a clue, not a single clue what I'm trying to do right now. Our little guest is back. Have you come to help us figure out what to do? I'm not naming any names, but some of us are really struggling right now. <laughs> some of us have no clue what to do. Should I plant my own crops too? Like, should I go through and just put my own debug crop in so that they look a little bit more like uniform and stuff for the pictures. I mean, they don't all have to be uniform, but like, for example, it'd be nice if we had like our own little custom sort of stuff going on, but I don't know if this looks silly or not. Would it be, I don't know. I don't know. That's the whole point of the video. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Okay. I do think that maybe if we had the wedding arch kind of angled like, like this maybe. And then if we had, oh, the only problem is it's going to be really annoying to try and get the chairs right. But we could line up the chairs, like six of them, kind of this way. And we sort of change it around a little. And then we can have like another big tree in the corner or something. Let me just try and get these. Oh, do they not place nicely? Is that not possible? <laughs> can I not place them nicely? Cause they're on a weird diagonal. That's cool. Oh, I'm so glad. All right, we have to try and like custom line these up a little. Just don't look too closely at it. That's that's again, the moral of this video is, is we don't know what we're doing and don't look that close because because it, it'll probably look fine as long as you're not like staring at it or anything. And that, that does look nice. It's not perfect, but it's nice. Oh my God. Okay, she hit me right in the face with her tail. Okay, I have to alt place this wedding aisle too. So let me just try and figure that out really fast. Although, oh, you're caught in the headphones. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Although if we have this wedding aisle place, that might actually help us with the placement of these because we can like kind of try and line them up around it a little. So maybe that's for the best. Okay. And then what color? Do I make them wood? There's a lot of wood, but also a lot of white going on out here. So I, I need to find a way to like meld that better. I think these could be white though. I think we can do white benches. Am I gonna have them stand on like some terrain paint or something maybe? Okay. Cause then we can kind of have this come down and we can like sort of marry it. Get it? Haha. -ha, Cause it's a wedding venue. We can kind of marry it like in the middle over here as like an entrance if we think it looks okay, which I'm not sure about. <laughs> We're gonna have to figure that out. But I think that this sort of thing makes the most sense. Again, this is assuming that we do keep that as the entrance and because then we can sort of landscape like around it a little. Like we can have plants sort of all in this area. Ooh, you know what? This might be kind of cool. Maybe I could put this over here instead in like that empty space. And then we get like a bunch of flowers all through here. We could probably even have a couple more flowers kind of at the end of this over here. I'm just not sure how much layering is too much. We could probably even have a couple more flowers right here. But then I also wanted to put some kind of in the front here. So I don't know like at what point it would become too much. If we have any terrain paint glitches and it deletes my terrain paint, I will cry. <laughs> I've already cried once during the filming of this video. I'm not afraid to do it again, but I don't think we will. I haven't had many terrain paint glitches recently. Oh, this kind of thing 
thing could be a fun little addition, right? Because it kind of tells you like, oh, the ceremony is this way, and then we have the like reception that way. I sort of like that idea. And then we have this little sign too to show the seating. Oh, that might make more sense on the inside. Hmm. All right, I'm kind of jumping around a lot. There's a lot of like things happening over here, which makes me feel like maybe it's a little too busy, but it's also kind of cute. That's probably not the right vibes for the wedding, right? That like llama thing. <laughs> this one makes a lot more sense because this could have like the couple's name on it. Although I suppose it actually has pastries. I didn't look that closely at it. That might be better because that could be the couple's name. Or we could have a bread basket. Yeah, that we'll do that one. <laughs> I'll pick that one. All right, so I've done a lot of landscaping to try and fill in the space and we've got a lot of flowers, but I like how this looks from this angle. And I think it'll be pretty in your sim screenshots too. There's still a lot of space to fill in. Like there's so many empty walls and places that I feel like kind of need some more bushes, especially now that I've moved that like tractor. What is this hay bale thing? There's still a lot of space to fill in. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do about that, but we'll get there. It's fine. We can just put some hay bales around the place and it'll work eventually. I think I'll just put some more flowers on this side kind of to fill in that empty space where that like hay bale thing was. And then I kind of wonder if we should get like one more little farm section over here. I realize it's very tight. <laughs> this place is like very, very full. Maybe we could put a tree there. Oh, this one's got little white flowers. That would be really good for this, I think. We could probably put some more hay bales just in front of it. I'm putting so many of these hay bales around the place. They're everywhere, but I think it looks good. There's actually some base game debug, like crop looking things. Although I might have scrolling past them at this point. I don't know where they are, but I know they exist. I did scroll past them. Okay, cool. <laughs> Maybe I won't use them then. I am gonna go around and put some of these little mushrooms like everywhere. I'm so sorry. I, I have a real problem when it comes to these mushrooms because I use them so much <laughs> in my builds like this. I will put these things literally everywhere, but it's okay because they're beautiful. And like, look how cute that is. The mushrooms make such a difference. Isn't that just so nice? Oh no. I, there's so many different pieces of this. I don't know what size to use. <laughs> I really like how this looks, but I'm not sure if I should like vary the size a little like, um, that makes more sense, obviously, in real life. But the same kind of goes for the pumpkins because I have this, like, dream of, oh my god, that is a giant pumpkin. <laughs> All right, maybe not. But I have this like dream, this vision of there being like some varying sized pumpkins kind of growing, but I don't know how to make them look like they're actually growing. There is of course the option of just having this guy plant some, cause then we could have like all of the things, like he can come plant some watermelon over here. Wait, let me think about this more, hang on. Yeah, you can come plant plant, no, uh, oh no. Okay, plant some mushrooms. Do that first. Oh, and there's all these people here now. Why are you here? <laughs> there's not even a wedding happening. Okay, plant some eggplant. What, they're just walking around. Honestly, what are you doing? They're all just walking in circles. Look at them. What is this? Did I miss the memo for something? Okay, I don't even know how to cheat to make these bigger, so maybe never mind. Maybe I will just, as I said before, figure out my own <laughs> because I think it looks better that way. I don't know how eggplants grow. <laughs> I've been trying to figure out how to lay these out in a better way and I legitimately have no clue what they're supposed to look like. Eggplants grow on vines just like the pumpkins and everything do but whenever I see people growing eggplants like at farms and stuff they've got them hanging so I feel like trying to place them down on the ground like this is just silly. Like it looks weird. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Oh we could put some fake plants like fake fake plants. We could just put like some lavender or something growing over here. Oh that would really help. I feel like that's a pretty good way to split it up. Maybe I could get like one other fake fake plant. Oh, what if we did sunflowers? Is this really ugly or does that kind of make sense? I feel like that's pretty in the background. Maybe that would be good. I kind of feel like this could be the exterior setup all done. Like this to me is perfect. It's just the inside now that we have to worry about because I ruined the door. The door looks silly. Okay, now hang on. What if we did it like this and then we had the door kind of like inset a little bit because that still makes the front look a little bit more interesting, but then it does doesn't ruin the entire interior lighting. And that gives us like a little bit of a nook that we can put some things in. I do think that the dance floor is probably too big, although we didn't like how the dance floor looked anyway so maybe it's okay. We can get these pretty little lights on either side of the door. I think I'll paint the whole place with that paneling on the inside. I would like to let it be known that if I was using other packs, I would put like a million fairy lights everywhere, both inside, outside, like just lights all over the place. But I wanted to just use the base game, obviously 
cottage living and the wedding pack, so I don't have my beloved toddler stuff lights. Oh, that's more yellowy. Okay, that's good to know actually, because that means this should be. Oh, that looks terrible. Oh no, the windows are a different color. <laughs> I didn't really think about that part. Do I care how the back looks? Do I care how the back windows blend into the front window? Not really. I feel like I, I probably prefer it all just to make sense in its own context, as opposed to like every window being the same color everywhere. Although that would be nice if the windows were all the same color everywhere. I mean, that is ideal, but um, it's The Sims and sometimes we can't get our way. And you know what? That's all right. I wonder if we kind of tried to make our own dance floor, like by putting down a different kind of flooring. I don't really know what that flooring would be because it all looks weird. <laughs> we could use this one. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. Stone, like tile. I I don't know. This one's just kind of white. I, that, I feel like that's ugly though. Like that doesn't feel like the beautiful dance floor of my dreams. I need to find some sort of in-between of like a, a pretty nice like rustic looking texture but also something that can pretend to be a dance floor. Also I feel like this wallpaper is kind of silly. It doesn't look as good as I thought it would and that is difficult for me to accept. I'm just hoping that the more like little pieces we add in the the better it will look and the closer it will get to feeling complete. Maybe if I change the lighting too to make all the lights more of a yellow tone because they were turning kind of white and that was gross. Oh there's a barrel. Barrel is good. We should just use that somewhere. We could get like a combo of a couple of barrels sort of lined up in the corner. What color did I use out here? The third one. See, like something like this could be kind of nice. I feel like I need to put something behind it, even like a bookshelf. I don't know. It, does that have the, the right like rustic feel to it or is that just weird and random? It's kind of weird and random. Maybe not. Oh, what if we like sized up these beautiful little lights? Maybe that would be okay. I know they're very large, but <laughs> maybe that would be a nice touch. Also, I'm pretty sure that by doing this, it's made that toasting item not functional, but it looks cute. We could always get another one. I guess I sort of have this table right here with the intention of it being a spot that you could put the wedding cake. So we'll use this as the uh, filler. <laughs> There's like, you know, a wedding cake right here on the table, hopefully something big. Oh, hang on, hang on. I might actually have this random guy buy us one just so that we can have it for the vibes. There we go. See, imagine that. Imagine your wedding cake is there on this beautiful table. Suddenly this feels out of place. <laughs> Maybe we should just have the cake. I mean, we could probably put a couple lanterns on either side of it. They're a bit big, but you can't really size them down because the flame floats. Oh, don't size it up either, yikes. I don't know, I just want something sort of cute there. That might be okay. Maybe if there were just less lights, like in general, if it was a bit more cozy vibes inside. So we could put some more of these fairy lights behind the bar. Oh, this little bar menu thing could be kind of cute because they could have like, you know how some couples for their wedding, they'll have like special drinks. I guess maybe that's the wrong spot for it because it's kind of just <laughs> off to the side, but they'll have like, ooh, our wedding cocktail. We can have that right there and they can display the wedding cocktails. This thing is the dance floor is actually kind of growing on me, but maybe, maybe it needs to be different. That's like solid white. There's also blue, dirt, um, kids play mat, grass, sand, literally stone, a different kind of wood in a different color. I'm sorry, that looks horrible. Maybe I should just put a, a rug or something down. We had originally talked about that, about just like using a rug to pretend it's the dance floor. Maybe we should go back to that moment. Maybe that was our, our finest moment. It's just, I don't, um, I don't love them. Like the red roses are not the vibes in here. I guess this one's okay, but it almost feels a little bit too formal. We need to get a stereo too, but I'm not really sure which one we should use. Cause ideally I want the people to dance over here. So should we just get like a romance venue wall speaker and stick it up in the side or something? They won't dance over here, will they? They're not very smart. This is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Oh, I don't know. I really don't know. You know what? I think for me, this is good. I'm kind of toying the line right now between like, should I add more to the inside or should I just leave it be so that it's easier to move around in there? Because I would like to add in some more decorations and stuff, but I'm also worried about like putting too much and then making it so your Sims can't get around. And I would like for there to be space for the Sims to get around still. So I'm just not sure where that line is. And I feel like maybe I should just call it. I do actually love how it looks on the outside. I think this is so cute and I would like to have my Sims get married here. Again, I don't know 
if I personally would get married here. Like I said, the hay bales are just not really my thing, but if your sims so desire, they are welcome to. I've really only built a bunch of like beachy sort of wedding venues, so it's kind of fun to do something a little bit different. And you know what? Building this is just making me feel stressed about the thought of planning a real life wedding because I would like to do that, but also, ah, do I really want to do that? <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of scary. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if it was all over the place. This literally took me like three hours to film, which is a lot longer than a build this small usually takes me. So, um, um, it's not my finest work, but I did try. Have <laughs> the best rest of your day, and I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow. Okay? Bye, everybody. Oh, the lighting on this lot at other times that is not evening is so ugly. I don't know if you saw at the end of the video just then, like the morning light, but it's so bad. It's so shadowy and just horrible. <laughs>